Hey everyone, Marissa with the snow globe. This is like take 5,000. Um, I've got Madison here right now and she loves pulling cords. So I thought what we would do is a meditation really quick for those of you who have little Madisons or big Madisons or, um, you know, not really any time to clear your energy, um, AKA emotions um, from your field during the day. But you know, you've just dropped off the kids, you've ran all these errands, you run into this really grumpy lady at the gas station because you have to go in and pay because the ATM machine is down or the the, the, the credit card thing's down on the, uh, what's it called, on the gas pump. So you run in, you pay the lady, she's all eh. And then you get back in the car and you're like, ew, I'm in a really crappy mood. Um, that could happen for tons of reasons that I won't get into. Basically, you could, could have taken on her emotions, you could have taken on her feelings, you could have taken on um, anything, anything really. You could have taken something on from the spirit world, um, pretty much like from something pretty simple to something pretty creepy. And the whole key with um, understanding and being conscious uh, human beings and being consciously awake human beings is realizing uh, that when we start feeling really, really crappy, um, the key is trying to see where it stemmed from, where it came from. It's not to blame the other person. It's not to say, hey, that was that lady's fault. It's her fault that I'm in a bad mood. It's, oh, hey, I caught it. I'm aware of it. I'm observing it, how it's happening, and now I'm going to clear it. So the whole key is, is learning to clear it. So I have made something for the snow globe, basically called the soul room. So what you do is basically you just say, I am a snow globe. That starts you in, in the exercise. And you, just like always, will imagine that you're the statue. You imagine your snowflakes around you. And basically call in energy from above you, which can be white, gold, or silver. And you call that down into the center of your crown. Hey. And you, and, and there's a spot right here, right in the lower heart. And that's a bubble of energy. That's where the seat of your soul is. You're just going to imagine that that's getting filled up with light and you fill that up completely. Sometimes it gets bigger. Sometimes it stays the same size. It doesn't matter. It's just aligning and connecting with that. Once you've done that, what you've done is you are basically connected with your higher self. So now just say soul room and you're going to imagine that you are in the middle of a white room. Sometimes it's not white at all. Sometimes it's a different color. Hey, her room isn't white right now because she's upset because she wants attention. So soul room and you imagine there's an elevator over on the right hand side of the room. <laughs> and in your mind, just say anything that's in my energy come into the room now. And anything that isn't for your highest and best good, anything that doesn't belong to you is going to end up as trash in the, in the elevator. So all of a sudden you're just going to see a big pile of trash in the elevator. This is her new noise. And uh, as soon as you see that there, you're just going to say, go to heaven. And the elevator, you can imagine pushing the button and it going up, or um, you can imagine it just going up on its own, but just imagine it going up. And then when it comes back down in your imagination, it's all cleared. Another way to do it is you can just say, um, um, clear this now and imagine the white, gold or silver, like light coming down in the elevator and dissolving all the trash. You can do that too. And then the last thing you want to do is if your room is not empty, just say, am I alone in my room? If you're not, imagine the door opening right in front of you and just imagine people walking out. And once everyone's walked out and the door is closed, you're done with the exercise. So if the room isn't white, if the room's all dark and yucky, just use the same light that you use from above you in the snow globe and just say, clean my room. And just imagine like energy coming down, white water, gold, silver coming down and just washing the entire room and keeping it clear. I have one girl that does like a huge Windex bottle and a big squeegee in her mind and cleans the room and makes sure that it's all clean. But the way I've set up the quantum energies above is that 
those energies that come down, the white light of the Holy Spirit, the gold light of Christ, and the silver light of the creator, of your creator, your higher self, it's like, it's like instant cleaning. So it should just come down and just completely clear it. But this will get rid of um, lots of stuff. And I can get into that in another video when Miss Grumpy isn't so tired. So, okay, we're all done. So I guess we sort of got a video done, but not really. Say bye. Say go clean your snow globe. Go clean your snow globe. We love you. Okay. Bye, guys. Marissa from snowglobekids.com. Check out the website and uh, hope to hear from you about your experience. Okay. Bye.